Denmark is sitting pretty at number one on the list of the world's happiest countries. Low unemployment and well-functioning social support are the economic reasons Danes are so happy. They also have the most leisure time per day. Danes themselves cite a simple reason. They say they don't have big expectations for the future, so they're not easily disappointed. But there's more to it. Sometimes money can buy you happiness. Economic security and stability play a major role in satisfaction. Yet, according to a study from Princeton University in the US, financial happiness only goes so far. Those earning more than €60,000 a year don't necessarily feel any happier. That's some comfort for those who can't afford high-end luxury items. In Bhutan, it's not economic growth, but rather the satisfaction of its citizens that is used to measure wealth. In fact, the right to happiness is written into the constitution. The government measures the Gross National Happiness, or GNP index, rather than GDP. For outsiders, though, it's not nearly as easy. Tourists have to pay 200 euros a day to visit the country, a hurdle that serves to discourage backpackers and budget travellers.